Hello, here I'm going to show you how to perform a log transformation in SPSS and then undo the transformation. The log transformation is very useful when you wish to normalize a distribution which is positively skewed, i.e. if your histogram has got a long right tail. Now the first stage is to make sure that your data does not contain any zero values because the log transform won't work on it. Okay, now how do you do it? You go to transform compute variable. Now what you want is target value. You enter the name of the new variable. Let's just call it LV. Note that this target variable uh, must not contain any spaces, must be very short. Uh, under type and label, this is optional, you can now type in uh, the description of what this is. So I've got log variable. This is how you give any description you like there. Next, we'll go over to this box function group and select arithmetic. As soon as we do that, you get below here functions and special values, all these commands come up. Now, this is the one we're interested in, ln. You could use log 10 as well, but we're using natural logs. ln, double click on that, and you'll see that in numeric expression that it now comes up. Question mark in there, and that's what we need to complete. Uh, we can click on the name of our variable, which is v here, and we just click this arrow to transfer it over. Now, instead of uh, all this clicking, you could have just typed this straight in. Once we've done that, we go to OK. And then that's that should be it. Right, you see now that I have a second column has appeared, LV, uh, which is now the log transform data. If we go down here to variable view and click on that, you can see that under label, uh, log variable. That's uh, the name that I label I gave it uh, earlier on. Now, second task, suppose I had uh, I have a data which is logged and I wish to unlog it. So suppose we don't have the first column, suppose we only have the second column. Right, this is logged, how do I unlog it? Well, the inverse of uh, something which is natural logged is exponential. So we go up to transform, compute variable. Uh, now SPSS memorizes uh, the previous command, so we have to click down here, reset. That resets all the buttons. Uh, okay, now we want to um, go to arithmetic and then exponential. Double click there. And again, it appears in the, up here. And this time I take the logged variable up. Oops. Up here. I'll just type it in. Uh, target variable name, I just call it v1. Uh, I, I can uh, omit this t type and label thing here. Let's press OK. And there you have it, the third column. Oops. So you can see that now the uh, third column V1 is exactly the same as the first column. And uh, that's it. Now going back to our earlier remark, what happens if your data contains a zero? So let's put a zero instead of a one here. Now in this case, the log transformation will not work. So what's the workaround? Well, you go to transform computable. Uh, let's reset this thing, uh, arithmetic, ln, log. Now what you can do, let's go to V, is uh, you add on to every number some other number which ensure that every single number is not zero. So we could plus, typically plus a number here, it could be one, two, it's pretty arbitrary, um, it's not fantastic, but um, this is a standard, a standard procedure. So if we plus one, uh, and then give it a name v2 okay that will now work there okay that's the tutorial hope it's been helpful